Good afternoon, we have another car fire, this time in Cornwall. Was it an electric car? Let's do some research and find out. Car fire spreads and damages home in Cornwall. The vehicle was destroyed. The fire had affected both floors and the roof space of one home. An investigation's underway. This was posted at 9.03 a.m. this morning. After a fire spread from a car and then severely damaged property in Cornwall, Fire crews were called out to this just before midnight on Monday. The incident happened in Ruddlemore. It was up Ruddlemore. Near St. Austell. Or, if you live there, Snozzle. The car on fire spread to a house. Crews extinguished the blaze an hour later. Vehicle destroyed. Fire affected both floors and the roof space of the house. Initially, two major appliances... Let's count them. Two major appliances from Snozzle and a water carrier from Wadebridge were mobilised to the scene, but upon arrival, appliances from Mevergissey and St Dennis were mobilised to the scene, along with breathing apparatus support from Falmouth and an incident command unit from Launceston. Seven things went to this one fire. It's quite an impressive fire then. Spokesman for Cornwall Fire and Rescue said, crews confirmed the vehicle was well alight on the driveway. How big is a fire that's well alight? Is it bigger or smaller than flipping big? Flipping big, all right? That's a scientific term. How big's the fire, Dave? It is, it is well alight. All right, let me know if it gets flipping big. One vehicle destroyed, fire affects both floors, six breathing apparatus, two hose reel jets, one safety jet. Crews were damping down, checking for further fire spread. Now, interestingly, the cordon was put in place around damaged overhead power cables, so basically the fire's so big, it's melting the power cables above. National Grid were requested to isolate the electricity supply to the property. So, car catches fire around about 11pm at night, sets fire to the house at the same time. Doesn't it strike you as a bit odd that this is exactly the same as the video I posted last week, the one that was in Liverpool but wasn't in Liverpool. It's the same thing. It's a car on a driveway catching fire and burning the house. Now, in that case, I couldn't prove that it was an electric car. And in this case, it doesn't actually say anything about it being an electric car, but that's what Facebook comments are for. I went on there, obviously, Jeff buys cars. Anyone know what car it was? in a sort of sly kind of fishing kind of way. Another Facebook user says, 99.9% .9 an electric car. They're absolutely dangerous. Fire brigade can't extinguish an electric car fire. They just have to let it burn. Another reason why electric cars are not the future. That was my thought exactly, Mr. Facebook user, but I was waiting for confirmation, which didn't actually come straight away in the form that I was hoping because another Facebook user then said, Sounds like a lot of kit was used to put out the fire, which was correct. Then someone else said, I'm guessing it was some sort of EV, which is what we were all thinking. But Facebook user number three said, I know the people and they don't have an electric car. I was like, bugger, I'm going to have to not make this video. And then the fully charged show can be like, hey, Jeff made a video about electric cars, but actually it was a petrol car and petrol cars catch fire as well. And the fully charged show who are so far up their own ass, they wouldn't actually notice an electric car fire if, if it was happening next to them. Um, but then this same user says, I'm not sure which of their cars it was. They've got more than one car. Finally, another comment which confirmed everything that everybody else in the comments was looking for. It turns out it was an electric car. The neighbours to the people I know said that. So the neighbours of the person that she knows knew the neighbours of the people that owned the car. I went back to her and said, do you know what kind of car it was? And she said, no, but it was big and white. A little bit on white cars coming up in a moment. Hey, Jeff, it's me from the future, or it's you from the future. I know you're all packed up and ready to go, but it's just come out that it actually was a transit van. It's an electric Ford Transit van, all right? So don't say all this crap about it probably being a Tesla. Anyway, I'll let you get back now to your bit where you're basically saying about white not being a colour, because I know you're going to say that because you say it all the time. So I'll leave you to it. But it was an electric transit van. Hang on there a minute, Jeff. Tone from EV Carnage here. i got to interrupt you because um, that vehicle that caught fire was two mile up the road from me. 
and I got sent a photo of it. Here you go. Now, as you can see, that's a milk float. That's a Vivaro E, and it was on charge. You can even see the lead poking out the front of it where it was on charge, and it caught fire two o'clock in the morning. So uh, it wasn't a Tesla, it wasn't a Transit, it was a milk float, it did catch fire, and there you go. What more do you need? Cheers, Matt. Right, I'll spare you the torture of watching me spend five minutes trying to work out what car it was based on the fact that I knew that it was big and white because Tony texted me this morning, sent me a WhatsApp message, quite simply, with a picture of a burnt-out van. So there you go. Tony Goodman from Cornwall, EV Carnage Man, has confirmed that it was an electric Peugeot van. That caught fire whilst charging. So we can cut all of this footage out and get back to the video. Lastly, let's just talk about people buying white cars um, because white is not a colour. And I've always said that white is not a colour. Mrs. Jeff had a weekend in Ibiza with the girls, right? First time ever this weekend. I'm at home with the boys and she sends me a picture of a Ferrari, right? Nice Ferrari 458 Spider. It's red. In fact, I'll put the picture up here. Bearing in mind that she sent this photo for my seven-year-old whose favourite car is a Lamborghini. In the picture, you can see the back end of a Lamborghini. And I said to my wife, why didn't you send a photo of the Lamborghini either instead of the Ferrari or as well as the Ferrari? We were driving along and I asked her this question. She said, well, it's white, isn't it? This white's not really a colour. I was like... You've never heard me say that because she doesn't watch my YouTube videos, but she said exactly the same thing. White is not a colour. Now, that isn't the first of my electric car videos coming this week. Obviously, I've got a couple more. I've actually got... Um, they're all titled Thou Shalt Not, right? Thou shalt not have a dumb EV charger. You have to have a smart charger. Thou shalt not have cheap car insurance. Uh, thou shalt not get into fights at the EV charging station and the one that I've just done, which I'm going to call Thou shalt not charge your car outside your house, whether you live in Cornwall or Liverpool. So, yet another car fire, yet more damage to the environment, yet more families moved out of their house by the fact that their house has burnt down, and yet more crazy weather, to be fair. It is ridiculously hot inside this car. Oh, last one. Whilst I'm talking about it being ridiculously hot inside the car, just filmed a video about an MG that auto accelerated and had to be stopped by a police van breaking in front of it. Lee, AKA the Mac Master, got locked in his car. When he got back from the airport just the other day, his 12 volt battery on his Taycan had died and he was stuck inside the car, trapped like a drowning rat. Except he wasn't drowning, he was incredibly hot. And he had to get his girlfriend to drive to the office to go and get the spare key for his taken so that she could let him out dogs die in hot cars and so do youtubers and then when the aa arrived to rescue him they said yeah happens all the time so i guess this is going to be a weekly thing isn't it maybe every tuesday we'll do a oh what ev has caught fire and where this week and we'll just make it like a weekly regular slot on jeff buys cars as always thank you very much for watching sweaty in here actually.